Over a century and a half ago, even before the Civil War, the first wagon settlers arrived in the San Gabriel Valley to start a new life on the western frontier. Traces of their historical adventure remain at the Roland Home and Dibble Museum in La Puente, California, where visitors to this important national historic landmark can see and touch history itself. This house was the first one to be made of bricks in the San Gabriel Valley. Behind it stands a cookhouse made from adobe brick. The adobe bricks in this cookhouse were borrowed from the original home of John Rowland built here in 1841. John Rowland and his partner William Workman made a lasting mark on the history of San Gabriel Valley. Together they obtained a large land grant from the Mexican government and worked this land by ranching and farming for more than a hundred years. This place was once part of the San Gabriel Mission and before that was inhabited by the Gabrielino Indians. A glimpse into this home for true California pioneers reveals an epic chapter in American history. This home shows a life very different than today. And the house still shows signs of its battles with earthquakes, family triumphs and tragedies, and the march of time. And yet we still can feel when we visit this landmark that we're back in time. We can feel what it was like in the days of outdoor fiestas, handmade furniture, horse-drawn carriages, and wood-burning stoves. This old water tower on the original site has been lovingly converted into the Dibble Museum. Created originally by Lillian Dibble, this unique structure contains a large collection of original artifacts from the estate. This unusual archive tells the complete story of the Roland family's adventures and the settling of the San Gabriel Valley. And although this is a beautiful building, the hopes are to return these pieces to the home once it is fully restored. In the meantime, the Dibble Museum functions as a tremendous learning resource for all of our citizens. Other artifacts can also be viewed at the Heritage Room in the La Puente City Hall. Lillian Dibble's vision to preserve and share this historic gem is carried on today by the La Puente Valley Historical Society. Their volunteer docents give interactive educational tours to more than 1,500 lucky third graders every year. What better way is there for our local young people to learn what it was like to make your own clothes, ranch, grow crops, take care of chores, build your own home, and play without Nintendo? The Historical Society has been giving these tours for so long that now the children of other third graders who took a tour many years ago are able to visit this place and we must continue it for their sake. For several decades this magnificent resource has been waiting to receive the tender loving care that it deserves. Miraculously it has survived earthquakes, the elements, and ownership changes. But this important historical landmark is about to enter a new chapter in its life. New efforts to preserve and restore the structures are underway, and with help from the community, the Roland Home and Dibble Museum will one day offer all citizens of the world a chance to visit and learn about a fascinating chapter in California history. You too can become an important part of history by supporting efforts to preserve this landmark. And by volunteering, you can make such a difference in your own life and the lives of others for generations to come.